The first silos at Gurumbad in North Victoria were painted by renowned Melbourne artist Jimmy DeVade as part of the Banala Wall to Wall Festival in April 2018. The subject selected for the concrete silo was the barking owl, an endangered species, which used to once inhabit the area. Jimmy visited Healesville Sanctuary to view a live bird to guide the accuracy of his artwork. Her name is Millie and she still resides in the sanctuary. Jimmy continued with his conservation theme and painted a farming and woodland scene on the steel silo facing the concrete silo. This represents the habitat of the barking owl. A year later Jimmy returned to paint the north-facing steel silo. It is a magnificent tribute to three Clydesdale horses working in harness, and a representation of farming work and life in yesteryear. Two of the horses Banjo and Clem, were locally bred by the Truin family. Sam, a Queensland-bred horse, is Banjo's grandson. In 2021, Jimmy returned to Gurumbat to paint the south-facing wall of the oat shed. As you enter town, from the south, you can see the beautiful Nankeen kestrel named, Rusty. There are two dedicated viewing areas for the silos. Gurumbat is a town in northern Victoria, Australia. The town is located in the rural city of Banala local government area, 229 kilometres north of the state capital, Melbourne. At the 2016 census, Gurumbat and the surrounding area had a population of 297. The post office opened on 17 March 1879 and the office named Gurumbat Railway Station opened in 1883. Gurumbat was later renamed Gurumbat East and around 1909 Gurumbat Railway Station was renamed to Gurumbat. Queen Elizabeth II visited Gurumbat in 1954 as part of her Victorian tour and she stayed over in her royal carriage for one night. The Mechanics Institute Hall, commonly known as the Gurumbat Hall, opened on 18 September 1888, and is still in use currently. Gurumbat Primary School opened in 1888 and closed in 2010. 